I feel like it really is a little bit of a community. It's like really, I don't want to pass a scene off as a community, they're not the same things, but it does really feel like there's that kind of vibe and everyone's there to enjoy a literary reading. It's the best lit night in San Francisco. It's friendly, it's free, and you might get fed if you ask a good question. This question is for Priscilla. Thanks. San Francisco writer Michelle T. created the Radar Reading Series in 2003. Michelle was inspired to begin writing when she first moved to the city in the early 90s and discovered the Wild West atmosphere of open mic nights in the Mission and Hate Street neighborhoods. Although there were these open mics every night of the week, they were super macho. There were just tons of macho guys, people really inspired by Henry Rollins, dudes really inspired by Bukowski, people just like writing like poems about being jerks, you know, being jerks to their girlfriends, like whipping their shirt off on stage and like beating their chest. Michelle was energized by the riotous scene and soon hooked up with other girls who wanted their voices to be heard. Sister Spit was a punk rock lit event, touring the country and beat up fans and sharing Gen X feminism. Michelle T's mainstream reputation grew with the award-winning success of the novels Valencia and The Chelsea Whistle. The San Francisco Public Library took notice and asked Michelle if she would begin curating a monthly reading series based on her community. A lot of the writers that, that I work with, you know, are like underground writers, they're, they make zines, they, you know, I mean, they're just coming at publishing and at being a writer from this underground way. And so to come in through the library, it's awesome. It makes people feel really excited. I think it's also been very good for the library to like show this writing community that they're welcome. But at first it was really like, people were like, you want me to read at the library, really? And there was a lot of like, can I swear? <laughs> and things like that. You have children present. Word is out is deceptively simple. As a documentary comprised of talking at interviews about purportedly universal gay and lesbian experiences, it can pass as formless, apolitical, and timeless. Radar readings are specifically focused on queer culture, but not exclusively. Straight authors might read about gay characters, and gay authors might write about universal experiences. Michelle's enthusiasm as the host of Radar creates a welcoming environment for all listeners. There's no cultural barrier to entry. The demographic of people who come will match the demographic of the readers, you know, so it's very simple. Like if you, you want more people of color, you book more people of color. You want more queer people in your reading, you book more queer people. You want more women to come, you book more women. So I think that it's kind of like that. Um, so it gets mixed up a little bit depending on who's reading, but in general, we definitely have a really core um, group of people who come every month regardless of who the readers are. And they're, they're mostly queer, but their ages do vary and, um, and they're not entirely queer. Like, we definitely have some, some folks who are straight <laughs> and reading. That loyal audience at Radar Readings has allowed Michelle to take more chances with the monthly lineup. Established authors bring in an older audience who get the chance to hear a first-time author. And the youngest writers bring in their friends from the community who might be hearing the old guard for the very first time. Radar has provided a stage for over 400 writers. A typical night of Radar readings ranges from fiction to individual stories of coming out and ethnic experiences to academic work that surveys the underground of queer film, history, or culture. There's so many different literary scenes and circles in San Francisco, you know, and that's what, I mean, I've been programming this reading series for nine years, and I still have a huge list on my computer of people I need to curate into this. Radar's supportive audience has allowed Michelle to try a new experiment this year, the Radar Book Club. The new monthly book night in the Mission District presents a deeper exploration of a single work. She had invited Carol to come up to Boston. And After the author talk, Michelle T. bounces on stage to jumpstart the Q&A. The mood is less Charlie Rose and more Carson Daly. Like, is Carol, is Carol the hipster filmmaker in Dream School, sort of Nicole George's-esque. Yes. Yes. I knew yes. it! San Francisco is consistently ranked as one of the most literate cities in the United States. Multiple reading events are happening every night of the year. Competing against big names like Litquake and City Arts and Lectures, Radar was voted the winner of the San Francisco Bay Guardian's Best Literary Night.
And after two decades of working for free, Michelle is able to make radar her full-time job. You know, I'm a writer myself, but I actually feel like my work in this world is equally to bring writers together and to produce literary events. Like, if I was only writing my own work, I wouldn't be totally happy, you know. I really feel like this is, I get tremendous joy. It's kind of like throwing a party or throwing a dinner party, like, ooh, I could match that person with that person. So it's really fun for me. And um, I mean, it's nerve wracking during the actual reading because you're like, oh, I hope everyone's good and hope the audience likes them. I hope the writers show up. I hope nobody reads for 25 minutes, but everything works out, you know, and at the end of the reading, everyone's happy.